to thank all of our PGDTA members, supporters, friends and families for attending this rally this evening. Give yourselves a round of applause, thank you. Thank you to Doug Waller for his sound system. As we know, it's all about the sound. Thank you, Doug. Thank you for the music. And thank you to Joanne Hapke for the use of her truck. We it's times like this we take strength from each other and the solidarity of our union. BC teachers have always known that when we stand together, we accomplish great things for our profession. For hey, hey, ho, ho, Bill 22 has got to go. Our external coordinator, Jasmine Batty, for CNC Student Union. The BC Liberal government has turned its back on you. We are here to acknowledge that commitment and to support you in obtaining a fair and negotiated, not legislated contract with adequate wages, reasonable class size, and composition. We call on the BC Liberal government to repeal Bill 22 and actually support our public education system by giving our teachers a fair deal. I want to thank the Prince George and District Teachers Association for hosting such an important rally. And I would like to thank them for taking a stand for a public educational system that we will all benefit from. On behalf of the College of New Caledonia Student Union, thank you. Power to the people, come on. Power to the people. Power to the people, come on. But the fight to protect public education in this province, I want to thank you for showing that support. Yeah! And when I, when we went from that rally there yesterday, the executive of the Labour Council representing unions across the north met last night, and your vice president, Tina Cousins, was present, and she updated us on everything that was going on. We had a good, long, solid discussion about what unions need to do together, and workers, whether they're union or not, to support this fight that you started and this fight that we have to continue. And we had a good discussion about that. And the unions in the room that day, last night, they decided that they were gonna come together between last night and now and make sure they did everything they could to encourage folks from across this city to come and support you. And I think from the turnout here today, you can see the folks in Prince George have answered that call and I thank you for doing it. Yeah! And then I went home. I turned on my computer and for the first time of the day I started getting some of those news reports that were flooding in from all over the province and some of the wonderful actions and I don't know if it was the brightness of my monitor, it wasn't quite as bright as, as Doug's light in my eyes right now, but it was, it was, it was pretty bright because I started to well up a little bit and I started to have a little bit of difficulty breathing. I, I might have been crying, I don't know, but I'll tell you why. I saw reports of government workers, my union, the BCGU, who went to work yesterday morning in Victoria at approximately 60 work sites across that city, and they met teachers, many of like yourselves, greeting them there in the morning, asking them for their support. And I imagine the thoughts going through the minds of those workers, and it's, it's a tough decision they're about to make. And that decision is, do I refuse to cross this line? I support these folks, but jobs are tough to keep these days, and they're even tougher to find again. And I know I'm opening myself up to discipline, and any number of other things that my employer will show will throw at me and we know that Kevin Falcon responded by trying to get an injunction and he's probably going to try to take some action we'll do what we can to defend those folks but what made me well up sisters and brothers is I saw these reports of, of my sisters and brothers in the BCGU and they didn't cross those lines they turned around and they went to the legislature yeah 10,000 strong and they joined over 10,000 other workers and community members on the steps of the legislature and they looked this rotting carcass of a political party for a government straight in the eye and they said, ENOUGH! They said ENOUGH! And I tell you, that fight is going to continue to build and we're going to be there right with them. And we've got other unions that are going to continue that fight and we're going to call on you for support. And the North Centre Labour Council will be here to do what we can to rally that support. And when that call comes out, I know you'll answer it. And I appreciate so much everything you've done to support the folks. Because when you hear stories like the ones I heard yesterday, I know there's something in the air. And I think it's smelling sucks. <laughs> and people are starting to smell them and they're starting to wake up a little bit. And I think we need to send a zero mandate to this government of our own next year. And I want a commitment from each of you this evening.
that come next year, you're going to do everything in your power to ensure that we deliver a zero BC Liberal mandate to this government in 2013. But I've got a feeling that you're going to do that, and I thank you for your support. And we're going to win this fight because together we are invincible. Thank you, sisters and brothers. I, I was young. I wasn't four, but I was young when uh, the solidarity movement was underfoot, and it was probably one of my first childhood memories being at the Parkwood Mall. And uh, my dad likes to tell the story, and he always says, you should have seen when the teacher showed up. <laughs> and that makes me proud, because I'm proud to be a teacher. I am the BCTF. And if provoked, I will strike. Yeah! One of our teachers, Heather Tandy, wrote us this little ditty. Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, slapped the teachers to make them cry. But all we said, you're a silly man, if you think we buy your education plan. Yeah! I believe the children are future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. No one speaks better for students than teachers.